Are you wondering if you can get into cybersecurity without any experience at all? Well, in today's video, we're going to go over that and some of the details of how you can make that a possibility. What's going on, guys? And my name is Cyber Tom, and this channel is all about cybersecurity and tech education. If you like this kind of content, please hit the notification bell at the bottom and subscribe so you get all of my latest content moving forward. Let's get into the video. So, you're somebody who's wondering can you get into cybersecurity with no experience whatsoever? So it's kind of a double-edged sword. So we're gonna go into some of the first things that you, we need to take a look at um, to answer that question, because of course it's not a straightforward answer. So there are some things that can get you into the field of cybersecurity without necessarily having experience per se. Now we're gonna go through some of the things and we're gonna go through some things that I typically see of HR departments that they want uh, and see what we can fit in there besides the experience to boost you up to get you into the position. All right, so there's three things that you're typically gonna want to have to get into security. And I'm sure this could match with a lot of other jobs as well, but we're just gonna stick with security for now. The three things that you're gonna wanna have, right, is gonna be an education, you're gonna wanna have some kind of certifications and some kind of experience. Now this is, this is just the typical three, okay? So the whole purpose of this video is that we're gonna go at this as if you don't have that experience uh, factor. So there's two left. So you guessed it, that's where we're gonna head next. Let's see how you can gain the other two uh, without having the experience. So I'm just gonna go out there and say that I truly do believe that to get into security, your chances go up and down based on factors. Um, obviously, if you are somebody that has all three, uh, you have the experience, you have the education, and you have the certifications, then you're really going to have an easier time trying to find a career than somebody like me. When I get, got out of school, all I had was an education and some certifications, and that was all that got me into the position. But I would go to say that if um, somebody had my credentials on top of experience. I'm sure a lot of the times when I was applying for roles, um, those folks were getting the job before me. And that's just the way it is. That's the way of the game. Um, now there is an X factor to all of this that uh, we'll discuss a little bit later on in the video. But for now, I just want to mention that to get into the security position you're going to have some stumbling blocks of you know likelihood to get in if you have all three you're at a hundred percent um you're going to be at the top of the searches so that being said when you move down to the level of where i came from was an education and i had certifications right so i had two of the three i think if you are somebody that has no experience this is going to be a hundred percent your best bet right you don't want to just have the certification and you don't just want to have the education you would like would like to have both of these um, to give you a better chance so if you are that person now i would highly suggest to you get yourself either a boot camp um, um, for cybersecurity, there are a lot out there now, and a lot of companies are actually looking into these boot camps um, and and considering them as more of an education than they previously were. Uh, I actually am going to go into a video um, down the maybe a week or two down the line, and I'm going to explain some of the good. Um, uh, boot camps out there and if they're worth it in today's day and age um, but I do suggest that if you're not going to get an education and get that first credential that you at least look into some of the accredited boot camps that are out there now the other thing is going to be certifications I highly suggest that you get some kind of security certification. Um, there are a ton of blue team certifications out there that are really gonna help put you at the top of that market when it comes to applicants in cybersecurity. Like I said, 
if you're only doing two out of the three, you need to boost yourself up. So if you can get one, two, three of those certifications, it's only going to improve the likelihood that an employer is going to see your resume and it's going to pop out at them. So I have a video that I'll link here of some of the certifications that I recommend um, starting out to get into security. So go ahead and take a look at that video and um, you'll be able to get a better understanding of some circ security certifications out there that are good for today's day and age. Now, that being said, maybe you're somebody who is in a, in a tricky situation where you can't necessarily get um, the education or the certification for whatever reason. Maybe you're somebody that has a four-year degree but you can't get the certification at this time. Or maybe you're somebody who has the certifications, but you don't have the education and you can't uh, obtain that right now. Your situation is going to be a little bit more trickier. Um, so you're going to have to do a little bit more to put yourself above the rest. So if you are somebody with just one of those credentials, um, let's say you're somebody with just certifications, I'm going to highly suggest for you to get yourself into some kind of field um, uh, position where you can learn the basics and give an employer um, some kind of uh, leverage to put you arrest above the rest of the folks. So in this instance, I'm going to say try to find yourself like a help desk position um, or an IT technician specialist kind of position that's not necessarily cybersecurity, but it's going to give you um, the upper hand if you're somebody with only one of these credentials so that you can stand out to employers. So let's talk a little bit about the X factor that I was uh, mentioning earlier in this video. So the X factor is going to be you. Okay. The X factor is going to be you and who you are as a person. That's something that nobody else can take from you and that only you can provide to the company. Now they're going to see that version of you when they're interviewing with you and when you're trying to get that position. And this is just going to be some of your soft skills, um, how you present yourself. If you're a vocal and a, um, a good at communication, uh, these are important things that you know not everybody has. And if you're somebody that has that naturally, this is going to be the X factor for you. This is going to actually take you out of these um, specifications I'm going through and give you a little bump in the field to to, uh, get you in um, which is great and it's one of those things that you may not see in yourself but others will see in you so always keep that in mind um, don't let any of these videos ever discourage you in any way shape or form of course I'm not trying to do that at all um, but if in some way it does discourage you remember if you want to get a job in this field all these technicalities don't matter if you have your mindset to get the position you're going to get the position and it's that simple um, so don't ever let anybody else discourage you remember to be who you are and you will get the job that you're after as long as you put in the work to get that position no matter if it's because of certifications experience education boot camps what have you if you're determined you're going to get it and that's just my brutal honest opinion now we got to the end of this video. I want to give you my personal opinion. Um, if I was somebody with zero experience, where would I go next? Uh, I get a lot of questions about this and I just want to answer it um, to clear the air with this topic. Uh, so if I'm the kind of person that has zero experience, what do you know? I've been there before. So I can tell you from experience that I've had no experience just like you. And if I'm going to give you the best tips moving forward, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Now this may change in the future, but as of right now, 2023, a hundred percent, the first thing that you want to do is get yourself an educational degree. Now you don't have to go in person and do this. You can, there is a ton of online courses and classes um, for cybersecurity that you can obtain easily. Uh, WGU is an amazing one. It's accredited and it's fairly cheap compared to all the other universities. Now, that's going to be number one, right? I would go even further to say, go for 
a security certification that is relevant in the field today. You can easily do that by going into LinkedIn search or Indeed search and search some of the uh, most sought after uh, security certification uh, in today's age and check and see how many hits you're getting from these certifications. That's going to give you a good indicator of what certifications uh, the market is looking for right now. So if you're that person, get the education and get the certification. I understand it's going to take a little bit of time, but if you truly want to get into security, these are going to be the two things that I highly recommend for you to do first. So that's going to do it for the end of this video. If you're that person that doesn't have any experience, these are going to be some key tips for you. And I highly suggest that you um, take these tips with you and take them seriously because I have been in your position and I understand what it's like to not have any experience and to feel like you're kind of looked down on compared to other applicants. You need to use what you have towards your advantage. And that's going to be those things that I've already mentioned previously in this video and don't ever forget about your X factor which is you as a person that's something that nobody else can bring to the table so thanks for watching guys always like subscribe hit the bell notification I've been loving talking to all you guys down in the comments and uh, look out for more content that's all I got today see you